Henry, back me up. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to say that was a fine evening. <laughs> Amanosulas. <clears throat> Holy sh! Ah. Look at me. I'm like a fucking ah. god. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Do nine out of ten dentists recommend Kingdom Come Deliverance? I love. <laughs> Do nine out of ten dentists love Kingdom Come Deliverance? So last time we played, um, we came across Ginger. There was a there was a massacre of horses. There was an equine massacre. It's so easy to just not hurt animals. <laughs> And then you turn into Squadron of the Kingdom Cup. <gasps> oh, yeah. That has been a murder. And so we're going to talk to the priest about it. We've got to wait until the evening to talk to the priest to meet him in the pub of all places. <laughs> it's like, where are all the good Christian priests hang out? The Bosch. Maybe I'll learn something. So the priest told me to come and see him in the evening at the Allen house. Allen! Oh, Ale house. Sorry, not Allen's house. Ale house. Oi, oi, boy! Look who's arrived! Is this the priest? Oh, this is the priest. Oh, he's brought someone. The blessings of our Lord be. And with you, lad, take a seat. Oi, oi. Good to know. I'm sorry, I can't tell you everything. That is for you, but maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? It doesn't matter where I'm from. I'm, I'm from jealous. Scouts. I'm going to be nice to him. Oh. I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. They're dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. Yeah. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl, even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Townberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of a church in Rovna. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. Hallelujah. How did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch Bernard. He did send him. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out One instead of torture. Please. We'll have to drink to that. <laughs> I now lost to drink and everything. What actually Make happened to Noel? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. I'd like a beer. This time... They weren't exaggerating. Was not exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. It's so I'm sure easy. they would have killed so more, but the bandits so quarreled click, among themselves and, and broke off the attack. You will be turned into and judging by what's left of our leaders, they're still settling the accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claim. Dreadful. Well then. <laughs> Here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. A you know man what of the cloth. Say, the Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. Okay, yeah, when we first met him, he was holding a sword. He was just out there, just, you know, ready to stab people. Okay, let's get straight to the point. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. Let's so, get down to business. Seal, do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, 
That's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Then I've reached a dead end. You're making excuses. Then I've reached a dead end. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Because he won't Those tell us who I can't stop confessed. Get up, lad. I might have a solution. He's what? got an NZA on confessions. I tell you what Lubos told me. I'd be betraying the confessional secret. NZA. But first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Church Word NZA is serious. On my soul. All the best. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. I've only got two Where minutes. do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujit is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. The tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life with a nice moral... The tongue today. lashing of two popes? Especially if they're about fornication and similar... Oh, okay, similar I was wrong. Right. Tongue lashing fornication. Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church, the lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison and nearly the whole of christendom is contaminated ah uh, because money like a flock of hungry ravens they settled on this land to devour every grain <laughs> of gold and silver they know no mercy their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth and they shamelessly profit from everything you want to baptize a child hey okay so he kind of hates and murder Pay the way religion is absolution. being run what at the moment. What the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? Satisfied. With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They right. gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive furs. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor. For you are seen by God and his people, too. Amen. Well, this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's Damn. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Who preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor? Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better <laughs> off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. Let's talk about preaching some more. He really is opening up. You want to preach against debauchery. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, be for, for debauchery? What's to be no, debauchery? Is that like tax evasion? Because they don't pay taxes? What do you think about Hus? What do you think of this Jan Hus? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Teaching a master Hus. Where can I find out more about his teachings? Do you like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. Interesting. So he wants to use another priest's writings or his, his what he says to his uh, flock, they call it. Are you allowed to do that? If that's theft, you know, take him to the courts, the medieval courts for this. Because I do what feel like this is, I do feel like this is infringement. They like it. They're happy to, <laughs> to say what they think right, themselves, right. but are afraid to say aloud things that make them angry. Right and they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. <laughs> You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. 
Oh, yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. I mean, <laughs> your character looks so regular that he looks unpredictable. Yeah, he's not a main character. He just looks like a guy. Guy that you, and that's okay. It's okay to just be a guy. Historical religious movements. Is it a copyright infringement? Um, are we going to get DMCA'd? <laughs> Is Henry like his fucking lawyer? <laughs> Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. <laughs> oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, father? Oh, you're going to the what next pub. Suppose? We have a drink, of course. I'd say that's a good plan. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. <laughs> Guys, I don't think this guy's actually a priest. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna get. It's quite good. Oh, he's got the roast chicken. And the gambo. Oh, we're all in our pajamas. He just slapped her bum. <laughs> They're just like us. Enough of this. <gasps> Bailiff. Come on over here, sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? We're after the kebab shop. So I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. <gasps> oh. What is the charges? Eating a rotisserie chicken? A nice rotisserie chicken with our priest? Are you looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Oh my god. <laughs> no. We're gonna. <laughs> oh my god. We get drunk with the Father Godwin. Oh, we're gonna get drunk, drunk, drunk. That's what you get. Take that. Oh, my stamina is fucked. No, I leave Godwin alone. You know what? We can't spell Godwin without God. What if he dies? What if he. I don't want him to die. <laughs> this woman just walking through. Yeah, so the combat's quite funny. It's like th very much first person straight in someone's face. What? <laughs> okay, I need to get my sword out. No, is this is this Okay, no, but I think that's maybe a little bit too far. I think this is a little bit Wait, objective failed, earn the priest's trust. Did he just did the priest just die? I think the priest just died. I think I need to reload. Oh god! Oh, that's way too far back. Oh God, that's even further. We are like hours back. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I don't want to turn, I'm gonna turn it off and off again. I'm fucking terrified. How much have we just lost? Yeah, free content is free content. Um, So is free flash grenade to the face. Oh my God. This game just tortures you. It's just, it's just torture, but also I love it. It's just torture. Oh, thank God. Rule number one, protect the holy man. Oh, oh my God. We're in, we're in Groundhog Day. <laughs> Oh, 
Why am I asking about Teresa? What? I don't care about Teresa right now. I'm fighting with the boys. Okay, where's the priest? Okay, we did it. Help Godwin. Oh, we're so fucking drunk. <laughs> I'd love to, Henry, I'm sure. Wait, what are we doing? Oh, we can't, we've lost our keys. Wait. What do I care? What do they do to me? Watch the step, my dears. Oh, and they. You don't hurt yourself. Are they fucking in the church? Oh. Here we are. Look at this beauty. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who oh, we're just ringing the Get bell. Ringing, wench. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sorry. This is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're never gonna forget this. <laughs> Slimy! Comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> God, my you old goat. Come here. funny this game is so funny not the bell he thought it was wrong neck minute oh we're going to heaven well i have to say that was a fine evening Back in the windmill. Godwin, you beast. Get up. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards. Classic oh. night out with the oh, boys. Oh. Oh, where the. Oh, what the. Oh, who the hell are you? Oh. He doesn't know him. Henry. Oh. My great friend, Henry. And we have a wonderful time. Well, you certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. <laughs> He's going to do a salmon. Oh, in my head. Oh, my guts. <laughs> my poor suffering stomach. Oh. What was that woman on about? <laughs> Before my flock eats me alive, oh. I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? You close. Where the fuck am I? What the fuck <laughs> was it? Oh. Mass. Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. No. Ow. <laughs> You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. <laughs> what? What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. 
And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Oi, oi. Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishop's going to have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosch's cronies are. Oh. Oh, this is such a funny quest. This is so silly. So all at once, the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Don't mock me. I won't give you a second chance. I can't even, I can't take the priest seriously because he has an American accent. Not because, like, he's American, but because, you know, it's a medieval game and there's this random drunk priest with an American voice. Um, thank you for all the followers. Look, I'm up for it. <sighs> well, all right. But I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine, then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it, then. Oh, I so badly want to just act like a shit for this. Just, like, make up. Do you remember when we played The Witcher 3 and Geralt had the scene where he was performing in a play and we deliberately made it really bad? Oh, I'm still drunk. Oh, God, hang on. I need to get, like, dressed. I need to... What about brown felt hat, hunting boots, decorated shirt? Look at that. I look like a Victorian serial killer. It's quite muddy, though. I think the sploot there means it's muddy. Yeah, he's drunk. You can see uh, how he, how it's like wigging out a bit. Even the graphics are different when he drinks. Oh my god. Yeah, Henry's like been drunk for a lot of our playthrough. We're quite wobbly. Walk after his capers last night. You were with them, you beast. Just you wait. <laughs> Mother of God, any minute now we throw up. <laughs> so I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine patres et fili et spiritus sancti. Amen. Accepit panem in sanctas at venerabiles amanus suas. <coughs> the acoustics, right? Hoc facite in meam commemorationem. <laughs> he can't do it. Oh. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuha. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University <laughs> preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, <laughs> as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. <laughs> 
god. There's no rescuing this. This is literally like anxiety inducing. Okay, so all I remember is the guy really hated religion, the way it was going. Okay, um, begin the sermon confidently, start a lengthy sermon, start a modest. I think, oh no, but the guy from Prague was like quite spectacular. Um, I'm going to go with confident. Brothers and sisters, let me go straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. That boy has a cheek. God sent to the head of the we are commanded by just not around, but God is the ruler. Creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But that power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <coughs> It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, cumans, hunger, and chaos. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver, they show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. Hallelujah. Shame. Sin of fornication. And what sins? They live with harlots and keep concubines? Even though only marital intercourse <laughs> failed. for the purpose of procreation is pure. If someone takes a woman or man only to satisfy their own lust, who seduces them to do so but Satan? And how much yeah, darker is it if that man is a servant of the church? Who can turn his face to God, who fornicates and then puts on priestly robes? Nothing we don't know about already. Enough about sin which the prelates are so fond of preaching about and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. Yeah, he likes to fuck with it. It's okay. Try some quote to conclude. Uh, criticize the plays with stand up, Godwin. Criticize... Uh, Everyone, including Hear my Godwin, because no church one is no men. and her servants seek their own gain more than the salvation of your souls. I think I just stole his job. And indulges in gluttony and intoxication is no priest at all. You would oh. better to be your own priests, each and every one oh, of you. Fuck. For you have no need for such Pharisees and hypocrites oh, no. to obtain salvation. Oh no! Yes, down with the oh no! Down no! With no! Godwin. That is all I heard. Him oh, for fuck's sake! I mean, maybe, I don't know if I just completely fumbled or I did so good that I, I would want Henry to represent me in court. Have you no shame? It's a chicken! Look at the chicken! I'll be writing to the bishop of this. For shame. I think I fucked up. Blasphemous. Can you what do you mean? I thought I was doing really well. For men of the car to get drunk at Look at the chicken! The chicken's leaving! He said, if I do a good job, he'll give me info. I don't think I did. I did a good job until the last one. I just thought, because... So, is our deal still on? Are you pulling my fucking pizzle? I couldn't have done worse myself if I'd puked on the altar. Well, I'm no preacher. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. And I wasn't the only one. I did so well to the last thing. After all that. <laughs> all what? All you making a complete hash of my sermon? You were supposed to help, not get me in even more trouble. Now I'll have the bishop on my back and all the villagers. Just leave. I need to pull myself together. <laughs> and what am I supposed to do? Find someone else to help you. Chat, should I reload?
I, I, I just thought, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll say that he was a bit shit too. Because the whole, what we started on with where all priests are bad, it's only like God or something. Like only God can say, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I thought it would be hypocritical for me to then defend Godwin. I think I might have to reload. Oh my God, I'm so sorry if I'm about to screw up. But also that'll be so funny. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna react. Oh my God, where am I? Where am I? No. Oh God. Hi, welcome to Groundhog Day with Little. <laughs> do you like drinking with priests? Do you like, do you like bells and windmills? <laughs> Shit! We can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> what? What? Where's the priest? What the fuck is the fucking priest? What? Is fuck, there's a little sheep. Oh. <laughs> who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage who do not condemn your venial sins. Why? All honor to Godwin. Let him drink like one of us. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. Neutral? They're talking. The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. He's right, that was. The young man shouldn't drink so much. But the Lord's given him a I'm silver tongue. Don't suppose I'll ever get Oh my god! Him. He told it nicely. Oh! <laughs> oh, I love you. Yeah. Oh, that was. Oh my god, I'm still wearing pajamas. I didn't get changed. <gasps> well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. <sighs> yeah, I noticed. But I wasn't the only one. Oh, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so it's gluttony. And fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. <sighs> Don't let me down after all I've been through. <laughs> For you, well. Now, Lubosch came to me shortly after it happened. His conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first, they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhoff. That would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, 
Talked about some Reiki. fella called Riki from Ladechko. Pious Timmy. Pious. <laughs> that lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. And anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Ladechko, right? <laughs> well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. And if you, <laughs> stand, you heard nothing from me, I'll deny everything. I don't what a lad! Oh, big stretch. Yeah, dude, that sermon, I was worried that we weren't going to pass. Because I was just doing what we did last time. Mm. And then I just thought the final question I had stuffed up on, and then I realized halfway through that the whole thing was a fuck up. What a great quest. What a great time to be alive. Place to sleep. Have you got a bed for the night? Aye, there's room here. For how long? Oh, uh, one night, because I think he's an insomniac, so he Just doesn't actually need night. to sleep much. All right. The money up front, though. Please have money. Thank you. Wait, what's happening around here? Is there anything suspicious going on? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, there's a weird priest. Indeed, there is. I'm Sarah Keller. <laughs> you should hear about what Vashek the groom has been up to at the stables. <laughs> when the head groom told the lads here, they fell off their seats laughing. <laughs> And that's not all. Uh, just last night, Father Godwin was here, <laughs> calling fire and brimstone down on old Gertrude, the herb wife. Oh no, did he, he didn't even uh, remember he's not us. He fuss over some trifle either. That's so embarrassing. We were here all night and he does not even, he did not notice us. See, I told you, Henry is not main character energy. Farewell. That's so embarrassing. We, we, we've been here for like three days. Um. Okay, so it's... Up here. Yeah, the voice actor does sound really familiar. It's, I'm not sure which one's my bed. Sleep and save. See any smelly men around? Oh, this is the woman that he slept with. Good morning. This is the one that Henry slept with. Oh, there's no conversation about like. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hope you haven't missed your period. Uh, uh, I don't know how to talk to you. <laughs> I heard childbirth is a really bad idea in the medieval days. Let's not have a baby. I hope you're not pregnant. That's one at a time. <laughs> Let's go talk to Teresa anyways. I like to talk to Teresa. That's our girl, the rat name. We can carry on with the quest as well here too. Oh, she's reading in the rain. She's reading in the rain. How you doing? Reading in the rain. Oh no, she's threading something. Yeah, well, I will. Don't you want to do something together again? That sounds wonderful. Everyone says the Broken Wheel Tavern is the fun place to be in the evening. I want you to take me there. Have you ever been to a tavern? Oh God! Me and my father used to stop at the tavern in the glade. Imagine it was the same tavern as last time. But he never wanted to take me inside. What do you think, Hal? Shall we go? Uh, I'm very experienced in taverns. <laughs> and just where might that be? Just above the upper gate. A little before you reach for time. <laughs> She's face farming. Why not? Now isn't the time. I don't see why not. Oh, okay. But you'll have to try some ale while you're there. I will. I promise. Let's be going then. I feel quite hungry. <laughs> well, we're off to the pub. Take Teresa to the Broken Wheel Tavern. Excuse me, what is the time? Oh, no, it's good. It's 6 p.m. a lot, do you? <laughs> Sometimes. If I want a proper meal, I have to. You wouldn't want to eat the stuff I cook. <laughs> That's true. I haven't forgotten that bet you made back in Scallops that time. Oh, 
Don't talk about those oat cakes. Fritz's belly heaves at the very mention, even now. And that's where you go to woo wenches, is it? Exactly. The taverns and baths are where the best ones gather. You lout. You need to take it the wrong way. I'm not taking it any way at all. <laughs> You'll take it later. I don't go picking up women in taverns. I prefer a different sort. Do you now? <laughs> Sorry, if you just joined the previous night, Henry literally picked up a woman at the tavern. What sort might that be? All mouth and green eyes. Yes, such a. And he hasn't had a bath since. So, here we are. Should we, uh, should we order something? Yes, definitely. Uh, <coughs> service. <laughs> oh. A pair of lovebirds. <laughs> what would you like to order? The fried chicken and some coffee. We got the chicken. Sorry, wild drama. There's no better in the province. Mm, you know what? <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, oh no! 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 no, no. Oh. But, but, but really? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on, be brave. No, I've never... Hand on my hip. I, I, I don't even know how. And off we go. <laughs> but, but really, I, I, I don't know how. <laughs> the chickens in the background. Fine. All right. Oh, it's... All right. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be better if there was no music. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> it was getting faster. <laughs> you wore me out. And you said you couldn't dance. How about a dance with a real man? <laughs> How about you leave me alone and bother someone else? Oh, come on. It's a crime to waste a body like that on a scrawny boy like him. You got tits like a cow in calf. Uh, that's it. I like a woman to fight before I fuck her. <sighs> You'll pay for that, boy. <laughs> oh, here we go. Quest started Red Hay Tournament. I'm the tournament here. Don't you touch my that woman like that. There will be a tournament in the Red Hay tomorrow, but first, murder. Imagine if I lost. What happens if Henry loses? I think that's quite concerning if we lose. What's the matter? Here. Love <laughs> that move. One more, one more. Encore, encore, on the floor. Left, right, good night. Oh my god, we're traveling with this, aren't we? Oh god. <laughs> so you're not allowed to swear because I won't be able to fight if you start if you start saying balls. Balls. My hero. Does it hurt? You can't say that. Uh, you should worry about the other fella. I'm fine. Ow! Of course you are. That's why. Is it a potato? I touch you. Oh, here you go. I have the so lover's lovely. potato. He wasn't feeling so playful after you. <laughs> it's a sponge. It looks like a fucking potato. <laughs> baby. Yeah, it's my tickly potato, baby. <laughs> oh my god, this game is so funny. <laughs> You'll probably be fine. Well, try to give your hands some rest. Don't go lifting anything too heavy. Thank you. Can I take you home? <laughs> you never give up. Are you sure you're going to get home rest? safe? There's I weird men. No, you don't go help you. Hello, Oh, Chris Fratt. Hi. Thank you. I'll it, give you this. Nights out with you might be painful, but 
they're never boring. I do my best. <laughs> well, you should go in before Peshek starts fretting. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's so smelly. Oh, he should have had a bath. Oh. <laughs> oh my. We're not even betrothed. What are you doing, Teresa? Oh my. <laughs> We're just normal men. Why's the what's all this then? Why is there a game about us? We're just normal men with our water bottle. I'm interested in your uh, services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? I'm just a normal man. I'd like um, a private bath for two. He's so awkward wish. about it. It's so funny. Yes. I'm not going to haggle. Fine. Here it is. I would never I'm haggle. Sure extremely satisfied. God bless. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Four hours. Goodbye. I'll call you. No, I won't. You're just trying to do your job. It's fair enough. Oh, wait. Sleep is safe? Oh, no, but I think I just saved. Am I about to get in trouble? Am I... Sorry, am I using your sex bed or am I allowed to sleep to save? Okay, I'm just going to sleep for an hour and hopefully um, she doesn't get any more customers. I, I just need to save. I'm so sorry if I just break the law. Oh good, okay, we can, we, okay, the, the sex bed was not in use. Sweet. <laughs> I feel like a new man! <laughs> oh, chicken! Um, we've got a couple of jobs up this way. Let's, let's do it. New area, guys. This is exciting. Yeah, he's cheating on Teresa. He's, I think this is the third woman he's slept with in like two days. And I'd like to just mention, because some of you weren't here, but within the, yeah, within the, the previous two days, you slept with three women, but also did a, a sermon at a church about how bad it is to fornicate before marriage. Or even if you're married, you can only fornicate to make babies. Wake up on the right side of the sex bed. <laughs> All right, we're looking for a smelly man. There's a gang, and one of them's called Riki because he smells. Should we go hand this uh, ring off since we've been doing this? This will make our life a lot easier. Um, this is Prashek's quest about the ring. Oh, I don't want to become a bog body. Someone, some fucking millennial is going to find. No, not me. I'm not going to fall. Oh, fuck. I'm in a bog. Oh shit, can Henry swim? You're gonna be so It's hellishly deep here. Is it? What's all this? Hello, mate! Out the go with Hello, are you the miller? Are you the miller? Are you the mill maid? Are you the miller? I don't know. Good day to you. What do you need? Are you the miller? Riki. <laughs> I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? Riki? You mean Hinek, the courier's son? Maybe. What? Do you know where I might find him? He's not usually around here. Oh my god, this fucking guy I knows him? Home, but I hope you've got a thick skin. The old courier ain't exactly charming. Why do they call him Riki? Why do they call Hinek Riki anyway? He's a tenor, isn't he? Oh, he's you're thanks. You're downwind of him. You're yeah, dude, they use fucking, like, Tenors cat piss. Weak of stomach. True enough, but not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, yeah. The Hinnick's nature is no sweeter than his smell. Tell me you know all about him? him. Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? 
Because he fucking stinks like a no one bombat's arsehole. No one spending too much time around Tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. Oh? I've never heard a good word. Sorry. Looking for stuff I can't find. Um, how come? What's his father like? What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why has he got such a bad name? So many questions. This guy's so patient. Well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Ratai for thieving. And in Neuhof, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits. Oi, oi. Just so. We're all honest folk here and we've no use for the likes of him. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's Sky is so useful. <laughs> is this the Miller? God be with you. I swear she's over this ring to you. Miller Peshek from Ratai sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. One ring to rule them all. <laughs> you must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the? Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had? To <laughs> yeah. Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. He has a test. It's just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. <laughs> it's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. I don't want to we be a miller. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations, you passed the test, and now <laughs> we'll have a few jobs for you. I like I'm in a gang. Oh, that's right. So we sell stolen goods to these guys. What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for oh, yeah. taking care of them before. So if someone loses something and I happen to find it, I can to <laughs> store and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. Gotcha. Can I help you with anything? Do you need help with anything? Just in time. There is a certain matter I need resolving. I have some scores to settle with the commander of the Talmberg Guard and I want to get my own back. You may have heard that Sir Robart of Talmberg is a stickler for having all his gear neat and tidy. The commander of the guard? Sir Robart? I'm already confused. Just tell me what I need to do. It's like this. It's I want like you to this. break into the Talmberg armory and steal a few Waffen rocks with the coat of arms on them. Uh, Waffen rocks? Once Sir Robart finds some of his guardsmen's equipment is missing... He'll see to the commander of the guard. Who's the only one with keys and answerable for their safekeeping? When Robard finds out he's losing things from under his nose, he'll have him whipped. And I'll get what I'm after. Satisfaction. Take Satisfaction. five Waffen rocks to make it a proper stink. You can count on me. Consider it done. What am I to do with the Waffen rocks once I have them? I'll burn them to get rid of the evidence. Just make sure you don't get caught. Okay. That was very handy. Both guys are in here. Steal at least five Waffen rocks from the Talberg Armory. I don't want to deal with Waffen rocks right now. Talk to Riki's father. Track down Riki. So it's all over here. So it's on the other side of the water. Nice. Tanner. Here we go. Good health to you. Rinky. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. He next shows up at home once in a blue moon. So he sounds like Prashag. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? This is so funny. So the guy I like, Prashag, the voice actor just like he he took everyone's jobs because he he acts he does the voice acting for like every second man it's so funny 
Um, who are his friends? Don't make me angry. Let's do a lie. He's in trouble. Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He's always up to his ears. Oh, no. But this time his neck's on the block. He got mixed up with some very dangerous people. I have to find him. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Phoenix makes some money on the side from poaching. <laughs> he boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Ah, uh, this is the cave that the guide said. So tell me about the poacher's hideout. Don't you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Stinks. Because every time he brought some hides oh, from Tanner. Yeah, obviously. Money. I need to know more. What more do you know? Nothing. He's <laughs> already God Almighty, I've said all I know. <laughs> Hinnick never told me nothing. Make an effort. Bloody hell. Start using your head or I'll never find Hinnick. How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything. Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Uh, except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. So he probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? The money he brought at home, give he it to me. Because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn then. Okay. In dialogue. Thank you. And if he's really in as much shit as you say, please try and find Oh, God. Him. He believes me. Okay, so we've got a few options there. Track down Riki, talk to the bathhouse wench that Riki is seeing. I want to do that just for fun. Let's talk to the bathhouse wench. Um, Riki was selling poached game to the innkeeper. Okay, so they're, they're all in the same area anyways. Is it this one? Jesus Christ, your clothes. Wait, what? No, wait, what happened to my clothes? Wait, I... No! Oh my god, that's like going to a hair salon. Have you paid? And they insult your hair? Like, oh my god, who did your hair last time? It looks awful. And it's like, well, you did. What is wrong with my clothes? My clothes look fine. It's just another bath maid laundered them. I think they're the best they've ever looked. Good day to you. What do you need? Riki. I heard you've been seeing Hinnick, the Tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent <laughs> men? What's going on out there? <laughs> so what's going on with a woman out there? Um, that's your affair. Nothing like that. God, no. Nothing like that. No, no I wouldn't judge. It's just that you're the only one in the village. Be a sluz. Him, Be so a sluz. Aye, I've seen him often enough. But I don't know what I could tell you about him. Where is he? Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I, I don't I mean, know. we know what he does. Okay, I'm gonna lie. She, I feel like she'd fall for him. Look, Hinek's my friend and I really need to know where he is and what he's doing. But I already told you I don't know where he's Ah, got shit. Him. So I suppose he just goes to the woods to pick mushrooms, does he? Mushrooms? No. More like oh. birds or <laughs> other game. So Hinnick is a poacher. Well, that's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite... We bamboozled him. He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. Let's ask about the hideout. I found out that Hinnick goes poaching in the woods and he's got a hideout there. What do you know about it? Um... Don't worry. Hinnick has much bigger problems than being caught poaching. And you're not involved in it anyway, are you? No, I'm not. 
Oh my god. used to go hunting in the woods sometimes. When he came back, he'd usually come to me. That's all. Okay, we're just going to ask all the questions. How do you know... How did you know where he'd been in the woods? How did you know he'd been to the woods? He always talks about what he caught. Mm. And he never came to me at other times. Probably didn't have the money for it. Oh, I thought they were, like, dating. Do you know who he saw? Oh! It to? He never told me straight up. But who could he sell it to? The innkeeper, I reckon. It makes sense. For sure. Which direction you know is it? Took? At least the general direction. Anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp. Because he always brought me freshly chopped firewood. And he had wood chips on his boots. Good. What if this guy dies because of this? I feel like he's going to die. Okay. Oh my, I can't believe she gave us all that information. You, you couldn't pry that out of me. Ricky was selling poach game at the innkeeper. All right, so. Boop. And then uh, track down Ricky. So we'll go to B. I think I'm enjoying the Teresa questline. Excited to see what happens there. Um, it's moving pretty quickly. Is it just here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tavern, tavern, tavern. It was a time. Oh shit, okay, six o'clock. And I've gone the wrong way around. Yabble, 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 yabble. What's all this? Look at all the fucking firewood! Alright. Oh, this is a vibe. Fearless Felix? Coming. What a name! Villager? So the innkeeper, are you the innkeeper? Yes. All right. My respect to you. This place is going off. Um, Riki. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. But ask someone else. They have nothing to do with Riki. You're lying. So my customers away. Huh. Really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you anyway? A friend of Hinek's. He's gone missing, and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. Ah! If you find the bastard. Tell him he still owes me some goods. Oh yeah, tell me about those goods. Um, buying from a poacher is a crime. Heineck owes you something. About the goods, Ricky owes you. What about it? Well, supposing I settle the account for him and you stop dodging my questions. Uh, no, I don't, don't have any tonight. money. <laughs> I suppose that would be all right. I have no How money. Oh my god, he just he vanished. I paid him in advance for five. Oh, hours. I have to go hunting. Okay, I have something with me. I literally don't. We can settle things right away. As it happens, I have some game with me. Do Let's I? See it, then. Oh, they're so rotten. Okay, no, he's lying. I have nothing on me. He just he's just lying. <laughs> Never mind. They wait. Back escape. Yeah, no, I've got nothing. Have you got it or not? No. What's happening around here? Not a week goes by without some ruckus there. But I'm wise to them troublemakers. Okay. Whenever they're planning some mischief. They're always little there in the corner, hatching their plots. Like yesterday, for instance. And by the way. Now I think of it. I've not seen Kunhuta here for some time. The local Kunhuta. She always comes here once a week for a tankard of ale, but she ain't turned up recently. Oh God, the serial killer! And by the way, oh, that's foreshadowing. Like that, they has started an archery contest here. If you want to try your luck at winning a few Russian, you should go and see him. God, at the start of the game. There was such foreshadowing where Henry's dad was like, Oh, jeez, I I can't 
when I die, I can't wait to be buried under this tree right here. And I thought, well, shit. And literally five minutes later, I think the herbalist, maybe the serial killer is, uh, got her? Not the herbalist. Okay, so we need to go, um, we need to go find some hairs. But I think I might go to bed, guys. It's one in the morning. I'm very, very, very sleepy all of a sudden. Well, thanks for watching and a special thank you to all my YouTube members. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And here's the full playlist of the series you're watching so far. All my other content is linked below if you'd like to check out.